Yeah. Watch this. Yes! This is badass. Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, guys, this is a game I found while I was playing a, um, playing, um, PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. It came in an ad. And it's really cool, because I've been showing Boz this, and it's really fun to play. It's got its own new, unique uh, way of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Sorry. And it's also got a, um... It also plays the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! And the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! is the only one I play. Just so you guys know, I never play these Z summonings, the XYZs, the um, Synchros. I don't do that stuff. I think that's personally stupid, and that's when they ruin the show. And so, I'm going to show you guys my profile. I've gotten pretty far. So, oh, wait, this isn't even in the game. My bad. Hold up. I'm not even in the game. There we go. I was just in a picture I took. My bad. So here we go. Here we go. So let's uh, get in there. So we're. I'm in uh, stage 12 in this, and I don't know how far you go. I'm also in the middle of. Uh, oh snap! What's going on? Oh, it's. I need to move my camera over here, and I'll move it back. Okay. So. Oh, he, we're in mission. Um, Actually, I should move this right here and go uh, do that. That way it'll be much easier. See, I'm on level 16, and here's some features of the game. You can play as Yugi. You can play it. You can unlock other characters. And, um... Yeah, I've unlocked these current characters. And you have to unlock them through uh, using the missions, which in stage 12 shows me the missions. Oh, I've already got some stuff in the uh, in here, so I might go up to stage 13 currently. Yeah, on stage 13 already. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Um, also, guys, I'm recording this on my phone, so excuse the little um, situation here. Okay, change your uh, game mat via card studio customizations option. Uh, I'll check that out later. Um, oh, that reminds me. Um, what is this? Oh, it's just um, some training stuff. At the gate, this is the gate, and right now I'm currently under a... Oh, crap, I'm not supposed to be him. Oh, go back. I'm not supposed to be him. Hold up, i got to change him back. Because he's not my... Has, he doesn't have my best deck. Huh! <laughs> but, and, um, currently I need to grind and get some, um, and get some star chips. As you can see right here, um, right there, where it says Tomb World, I need to gain star chips. I need 40 so I can fight, uh, this guy. Which, I already have him unlocked, but I want to be able to unlock his, unlock more stuff using him. So I'm going to go fight my, fight him. Ah. So, so we're gonna go fight this guy. So far, as far as I've gotten, I've gotten these guys to work hard, like to actually fight me. Because now they're level ten players, and it's fun to fight these guys because they actually try to put up a fight. Sometimes they're dumb, sometimes they're not, and that's the thing. When you so you guys know when you play this game, that the level one duelers they're really dumb, and that makes it easier to grind. But then they get more challenging, makes the game more fun. So we get to actually get to see some awesome stuff. Yes, I get to go second. I prefer to go second in, in when it comes to duels because of this. Oh, sweet. I got some good cards in my hand. And I could ritual summon if I had him. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I got him. He's not bad. So we're going to summon this guy and normal summon. 
And I'm going to attack. Kunai with chain, of course. All it does is put my my thing into defense te temporarily. Looks like I have to end my turn. It's not all to the original actual game. It's simplified so people will play it more. Okay. Draw. Ah, sweet. I get to use him. Normal summon him. He's pretty useful. Yeah. Hua. And now I gain some life points because my cards affect. So I have to end my turn now. Draw. Oh, he's pretty useful. Um, let's summon him. I have to sacrifice a monster first. So we're going to sacrifice him. And we're going to attack. Direct attack. Hua. That's oh, already over. <laughs> so wait, actually, I want to say something. Uh. Oh, come on, I need. I need a ritual card. The ritual monster, just, just the right one, because this will give me the most ultimate shit ever. Ah, you're useless. Set. Okay, okay. Um, I'll end my turn. Jar of greed. That's actually a good card, but I probably won't be able to use it in this duel. So, but here's this. We're gonna. Activate it, just for the hell of it, just in case this guy pulls some kind of shit. Okay, and now we're going to summon Dark Magician. You're going to see something really awesome. So we're going to sacrifice you, confirm, and we're going to sacrifice you, even though you're pretty valuable. Yeah. Watch this. Yes! This is badass. Honestly, this is totally badass. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we're gonna attack. See what I mean? This is a pretty cool game, and it's so awesome. It, I just can't get enough. I got to see how much I'm recording so far, and um, I don't know how much I've recorded. Okay. So, hmm. So, um, let's do a few more duels. And, um, oh man, look at all that, all this bonus stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's see how many, uh, uh, star chips I get. I love getting star chips. It's so much fun to get star chips. Oh, I lost. Looks like the I'm not the. It's not o only about attack. I should focus monster effects too. Okay, I got two star chips. So that means I need 37 more star chips, and I can fight a uh, maximum uh, Pegasus, Maximilian Pegasus. So let's see. Let's see if there's anybody particularly I like fighting. There's actually certain players who are pretty smart, and I like fighting them. Like this guy, for example. I think David. Let's duel this. Let's duel this douche. There's actually a guy who talks about my calculations are correct. Ugh. I can't remember which guy it is though. It's hard to say. So we're gonna duel. Please. Damn it. 
Ah, oh well. I can still work with it. I've worked with this before. I've turned an entire duel around just by doing that. Just using it. Ah, those same cards again. Okay, we're gonna set this down. Because the effect, if he, if he, if it's a flip summon, like if he's destroyed, he has automatically flipped up. So that means I can activate his thing. Basically, when I use this card, I can flip summon him and I can summon another monster just like him and put him there, put him in the field, and it'll help me uh, fight more. Which I'm gonna use him so I can summon the this guy right here, uh, the Shadow Ghoul. Watch, uh, it's a. Um, it's a pretty useful card because he gains at 100 attack points for each monster in the graveyard. So, doing that, he's going to be even stronger. So, I'm going to end my turn. Cool. Yes, I will activate this effect. I really love this game because I like outsmarting these guys. It's pretty easy to spot outsmart a bot. And maybe, guys, if you guys want to see, I'll play with Boz because he plays this game too. We could play PvP. And that's the coolest thing. You can actually play PvP in this. So, so we're actually going to uh, tribute this. Yes. So he's going in the field next, and I'm going to attack directly, and it's going to be really awesome. Yeah! I end my turn. His voice is like, yeah. <laughs> he said some monster, that means he's a chicken. If I can get the right card. Oh, and I, ah, mm. he'll be pretty useful in the future. He's pretty useful because if he has a monster really powerful and he tries to attack it, it will not be able to attack him because it always reduces the attack to zero. The I'm sorry about this, guys. I am sorry. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? My uh, my computer recorder stopped because I ran out of room. I had to transfer a, transfer a video. Um, as I was saying, uh, this monster here, if uh, attacked... It reduces the attack. Um, it basically targets the attacking monster, making the target its attack zero, which really knocks them out big time. So we're gonna actually, uh, yes, we're into the battle phase. Yeah, you were just saying, and I had to strike back just as hard, giggity. Uh, <laughs> Sucks to be you. There better be a nice card in here. You know what? We're gonna do this my way. We're gonna normal summon you. We're gonna need two. I love this card's ability. I like prolonging the duel, honestly. It's kind of fun to watch the duel go on. So we're gonna end turn. Hua. Oh, he's pretty cool. Oh yeah, now I get some light points. Yeah. Oh, he's done anyway. I was really hoping I could make a ritual summon in this video. Yes. Hua! Yeah! Since, um. Okay, since we're actually uh, getting close to the end of this video, I, ca I can't do any more duels. But, guys, if you want me to do a duel with Boz. With this, I will be happy to, because me and Boz can go a while on this. I've lost, you should uh, visit the PvP area, I know you'll go far.
Okay, but I won't do PvP until um until it's until I'm ready to do it with Boz. Because I haven't done it with Boz at least once. And I would like to do it with Boz. No, that's not it. That's the PvP area. Oh, here's the store. So we're gonna go in the store, we're gonna check out some cards. we're gonna buy some cards. So we're actually gonna go to the Ultimate Rising packs. And I'm gonna buy all four packs. And you guys get to see some awesome cards. Yeah, so purchase. <gasps> Ooh, that means there's a rare one in here. I have that one. Um, once per turn, you contribute one Earth Monster, accept this card to special summon one Earth Monster from your hand, special summon, and buy the effect and destroy the advance. I think I've seen that. Okay, I have, I've seen this one before. Next one. Okay, go Karibo. Wait. Why does face show? Oh, I have this card. This is actually a really useful card because it might help you in some cases. Element Soldier. Uh, this monster is falling effects. Effects. There is a monster with the falling attributes on the field. Water. Control this card. Cannot switch. Earth. Negate the effect of an effect monster that is destroyed by battle. Okay. Oh my god! White magical hat! It's the magical hat! Why did I say white magical hats? I keep saying that. It's the magical hats card. I love this card. God, this is so useful. I'm going to try to use that later and put it in my deck. Oh, there's another one! Oh, I actually have this card. It's pretty useful. Uh, Snake Fang. Hmm, this is new. Decrease one selected monster's defense by 500... And during the turn of this card's activation, the uh, hunter with seven what? I can't, hunter with seven weapons. Um, when this card is normal summoned, declare one type of monster when battling that type of monster. And increase the attack of this card by a thousand points during the damage calculation. Okay. Oh, there's one more. I didn't. I, I forgot. I thought there. I had, that was the last one. Oh, I got another snake fang. Another hourglass. <gasps> I got a tune. He's a fusion. He's a gra grass clown and dream clown. I think I have those in the back when I uh, when I unlocked um, what's his name. So I got some pretty cool cards. And anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you and I really hope you guys want to see more of this because I do love this. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's like my one of my favorite games. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye!